Hi and welcome, I'm Nadine Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love and today I'm going to be talking about a very heartfelt topic because it's all about your heart. If you are feeling a little heartbroken at the moment, a little dejected or rejected or maybe you've been out of relationships for a long time and yet you're finding it very difficult to get back out there again and feel confident dating, then this video is for you. If you've ever dated a man who is bitter or hurt from a previous relationship, you can feel it in their energy, you'll know that it's very unattractive, it's not appealing. You might be a fixer and you think, oh my god, I'm going to save this guy. But most often, if you're a healthy woman who's done some work on yourself, you don't want to be with a guy who's angry and you know negative about women and you will sniff it out. So this is why it's so important because it works on the reverse. If you are looking for love and you're feeling angry towards men, if you're feeling abandoned and bitter, then it's going to seek or seep or leak into your connections with men. And this is why it's so important to heal that heart of yours because the question is why is it that some women can bounce back really quickly after a relationship has ended while others almost never seem to get over a breakup. It could take years to get over something and still they may never date properly again or they keep dating the same types of men and wonder why they're still miserable and feeling rejected and this builds that bitterness more and more. It's confirming that men can't be trusted or that there are no good men out there. I don't want that for you because I want you to know this and believe this. There are beautiful men in the world. There are kind, loving men looking for a gorgeous woman like you. Not all men cheat. Not all men let women down. Um, there are plenty of men that you see with maybe some of your friends or family members or you know of that you know are devoted men. They are out there living and breathing. So first of all, it's important to believe in that. The other thing is it's important to believe in your worth and your value. If you're one of those people that often holds on to past relationships, the pain never seems to heal properly, then I can assure you, you don't have a good understanding of your worth. If you want to feel confident with men, if you want to feel confident in love, if you want to feel confident in your ability to find love, then you need to believe in your value and your worth as a woman. In my program, Never Lose Him, I actually go into a lot of information about that. The link to Never Lose Him is in the description below. It is the like the cornerstone of all relationships. That's why that program is called Never Lose Him. It is because when we're bitter, when we're insecure, we push men away. When we're bitter and insecure, we can actually reject men first because we're so fearful of being hurt. We're so fearful of you know them leaving us that we leave them first or we find reasons and faults that they're not good enough for us because we actually have still got some kind of heartbreak that hasn't been healed. So I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to know that you are worthy and deserving every moment of every day and no man ever, no other person on this planet can define your worth worth and your value. You are valuable, you are lovable, and you are worthy. I also have a free quiz that's really amazing for this that will help you determine if you have one of these kind of love blocks are called romantic love syndromes that is stopping you from experiencing the love you want. The link to this free quiz is right below in the description as well. So what I want you to take away is that everyone can heal from a broken heart. We've all had heartbreak. Most of us have. I've certainly had my fair share, but I've also had my fair share of good relationships and I know that real true love exists. You've got to believe that when you're dating and you've got to know that your worth and your value, your lovability has nothing to do with your height, with your body shape, with what you earn, with your history. So please find the courage to work on yourself to heal that broken heart so that you can feel confident and to actually live your life with joy because when you feel a little heartbroken all the time, when you feel rejected, when you fear the love that you want, then you actually don't have true joy in your heart daily. There seems to be a little bit of a void, a little bit of heaviness 
darkness in your soul that eats at your everyday joy. And I don't want that for you. And trust me, you can heal this. I do run group coaching from time to time. So please do email me at support at healthy you, healthy love, and put your name on the list for group coaching when I'm doing it next. But also please find a therapist in your area, someone who's going to work with you to heal this because life is not fun when we don't believe in love. Sure, you don't need to be in a relationship to be successful, to be happy. Absolutely not. And yet, love is important and love is worth fighting for. So I want you to fight for yourself first and honor yourself by learning about your worth and your value so that you can attract more love into your life, not push it away. So there you have it, a really powerful way to heal that heart of yours. Please subscribe, click the link on that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Also, please comment below and let me know how you've overcome your own heartbreak or what you're experiencing right now personally. Also, please do share this with a friend who needs a little bit of help and loving support when it comes to healing their heart. Also, take a moment to jump onto Instagram and find me there at Nadine Piet, uh, also under the same name at Facebook. It's been a true honor to have you here with me and I look forward to seeing you at my next video and choose to show and express and feel love every day in some way. Mm -hmm.